Sean Jacob from Kerala is asking about Ola Electric and he's got 3,000 shares which he's bought at a price of 130, very elevated prices. And uh, the question is whether to hold or sell, uh, you know, whether to look in, at, at an averaging strategy. Ashish, a lot has been said about the after-sales issues that people have been facing. Uh, the companies come out with statements to say that it's working on fixing certain issues. It says that it's addressed several complaints. What would you say about holding at levels of 130, though? This is a tricky question because uh, when it was 120, 130, FDD was so bullish and was a poster boy of uh, electrical industry and uh, the kind of uh, good uh, listing gains uh, were there in this IPO. But after that, uh, from 150 odd levels, we have seen continuous liquidation and uh, most of the institutional investors who have uh, got allotted shares uh, have exited from the stock. So I'm not expecting uh, any major reversal happening in Ola Electric. Unfortunately, you need to exit the stop or uh, keep a stop loss maybe of 75 and uh, uh, try to exit and uh, rally. I'm uh, quite bearish on fundamentals of this company. Uh, 75 and not too far away from that mark right now, in fact. Anuradha Menon uh, from uh, Mumbai is asking this next question. Uh, Hoodco is the name of the counter that she's talking about and 302 is her buy price. She's wondering whether it will recover from the low point. It's, it's currently, in fact, seeing quite a bit of cuts in trade today as well, down as much as 5%. I do not know how many shares she has bought, Brijesh. What would you say are the trends that you're seeing on the charts? So as I've been saying, most of the stocks had trend has been changed, lower tops, lower bottom formation, increase in volume, 50 day simple moving average, 200 day simple moving average has already been broken in most of the stocks. Now if I look out the Hoodco chart, the Hoodco chart trend has changed when it had broken 230 mark. Uh, most of the stock had made a low on 4th and 5th of June, 5th of June low was 201, it had broken that thing, it's been trading below the level. Now the next level to watch would be uh, uh, 149. 150 zone that is the support where it lies but still i feel uh, nothing uh, wrong in it right now if it books a loss as i've said 149 is a level where the support lies whereas on the higher side 230 235 zone is a resistance so i uh, again i i would be you know it's very easy to say me that better to book loss but it's practically it's very hard but still save the capital book loss in it and be out from the stock ashish brijesh we're extending this a little bit i hope you don't mind and Forgive me for this, but uh, you know it's it's really insightful for my viewers, and I'd request you to bear with me for a few more minutes. Happiest Minds is the next counter we're talking about. Uh, we've got Ayush, who's holding for uh, at a price of 950, and so therefore he's witnessing a loss right now. The stock is currently trading at 770 or thereabouts. Any suggestions on the fundamentals, Ashish? Yeah, so this is again a very underperformer stock. If you see, stock is in the air 50 to be close, 740, 745 only. Uh, and uh, from 950, we have seen continuous sale off in this stock. Because again, the challenges in this market, even large cap stocks are finding difficult to um, find their speech. Companies like Happiest Mind, etc., will always be uh, uh, even uh, get will get lower valuation and uh, lower appetite from investors. So it's a sale in my view. Right. All right, so that's the view on happiness, ha happiest minds. Uh, I'm not sure if we did this on the show. Uh, maybe uh, it was asked, but Ashish, I'm going to ask you again. In the automotive space, uh, Hyundai, um, if you've got allocation or if you're thinking of buying at this juncture, it's a stock that is, uh, oh yeah, you did talk about it, but I can't remember the recommendation that you had given. Would you suggest a buy at this point? No, no, my recommendation is clear, S E double L. Okay, oh, sell it. Okay, sell and avoid, I would think, is the view. So uh, that should answer any questions that you might have.